Okay. As far as construction of the uh, Raspberry Pi arcade machine goes, um, I use just a 19-inch uh, planar monitor. Um, you can see here that it is 12 volt, 5 amp. Um, made a custom power supply cable. This had an external power supply at the time. The uh, power supply had failed. Had to do a recap on the monitor to repair it and it was just too good to throw out so figured I'd bring it home and turn it into a arcade machine. Um, as you see the brackets are just standard uh, off-the-shelf hardware brackets. Uh, that's a three inch by one inch L bracket 90 degree angle. They come with screws. Um, use two inch brackets for the uh, components there. And at the top used three inch ones just so I could put a little bit more weight on it if I want to and the wood went with the uh, a simple uh, melamine two foot by one foot shelf um, you could buy pre-finished at Menards for about five bucks a piece uh, this build took four of them um, the top I just uh, measured the width of the monitor came to 17 and a quarter inches um, by 15 and a half inches so we got the the 17 and a quarter width with the uh, 15 inch height um, ripped one board down seven to 17 and a quarter inches using the half inch or I'm sorry the foot width and then the other pieces here the the speaker shelf is just a uh, Another board was ripped down to 17 and a quarter inches, and then I cut it in half to give me uh, two planks, one that's uh, five inches wide for the, the base here, and another one that was seven inches wide. It's basically just used a handsaw and cut it with a two by four clamp to it. Used all hand tools because don't have anything special like that. The power supply is just a standard ATX computer power supply. To convert it for our use here, the standard ATX power supply cable that would go to your motherboard, I don't know if you can tell this uh, this green wire here, I clipped that along with the black wire next to it, and then twisted that together with a wire nut, that way it keeps it in the on position, and then a uh, benchtop ATX power supply like this requires at least uh, uh, a three watt draw to uh, to keep it running. So the uh, at the very least the five amp monitor, the light unit out of a, a film scanning attachment, which is also a 12 volt, the network cable. Um, actually, it's a, a network bridge that I had to repair. The antenna came desoldered, so got that free and was able to repair it and get it to use here. And then our Raspberry Pi and the uh, three watt two channel audio amplifier. Got by control here if you want to turn it down or turn it up. Pretty much all running directly to the power supply. The amplifier uses 5 volts DC, the bridge uses 5 volts DC, and the Raspberry Pi uses 5 volts DC. I used a micro USB power cable that I cut in half and wire nutted to the uh, a red and black wire coming off of the uh, just standard Molex 4 pin connectors. Just clipped one of those off, ran at the end. And so everything that's using 5 volts is connected to the red 5 volt power lead coming off of the ATX power supply. And everything that is using uh, 12 volts, like the monitor and the um, inverter board for the marquee light, are running off 12 volt from the uh, yellow Molex power supply connectors. You can see it hooked up in here. The monitor had a uh, several of these older um, 
processor power pigtails. It gave me two 12 volt wires and a two t ground to provide the 12 volts. Just uh, strip the ends and I'll show pictures in the other documentation here. Um, I don't know if you can get these anymore. They came with power supplies probably about 10 years ago or so. Um, the speakers came out of a uh, pair of unpowered desktop computer power supply, um, desktop computer speakers. The inverter board and the uh, fluorescent tubes there were the uh, film scanning attachment for an HP scanner. And that pretty much handles the, uh, the hardware side. Hardware, I uh, used a Dremel tool with a small drill bit for pilot holes for the screws. And then a slightly larger drill bit for these plastic uh, standoffs and then just standard electronics mounting screws. For uh, cable management, I used half inch staples and a staple gun, stapled it in there and just used uh, zip ties through there. I left a couple longer ones so you can show the, the zip ties. And then on the uh, amplifier, used a little bit of double stick tape on the back to uh, attach to the back of the monitor. I use the Raspberry Pi B Plus just because it has extra network. Um, it's got the network of the B along with uh, extra USB ports and then a micro SD card, which you probably can't see on the other side here. Back behind this, uh, just slide our image in there and it's ready to go. Power supply is centered and the back of the power supply used a piece of salvaged particle board with a inch and a half inch hole. It was drilled in with a uh, hole saw and used the same hole saw to drill the hole for the uh, USB cable for the X-Arcade tank stick. As you can see with the marquee light there, the, uh, the marquee itself is just a piece of Tyvek that has been stapled into place using a staple gun. A little bit of glue there to hold the uh, cathodes of the marquee up and that handles the uh, the guts of it.